Complex weather pattern continues to develop uh, across Montana. Hello, everyone. I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Kerr. Let's get you up to date with an on-demand storm tracker forecast for your Tuesday afternoon. Trough of low pressure, analyzing the jet stream pattern. It's not quite as deep. It's beginning to turn a little more shallow, but it's a fairly broad upper level trough. So because we're sitting to the north of the uh, polar jet stream, we continue to see colder than normal temperatures across Montana. Here comes a Pacific front followed by a Canadian front, and these two combined will bring some off and on snow showers and continue to produce cooler than normal temperatures. So you can see satellite and radar here as of around one o'clock on your Tuesday, scattered pockets of snow around and it's mainly higher based. But there is some travel concerns. The National Weather Service did issue a winter weather advisory west of the Continental Divide. This includes the Butte Blackfoot region up towards McDonald Pass, Homestead Pass is in there, uh, out towards Georgetown Lake, for example. But the main impacts will be Lost Trail, Low Low, and Lookout Passes. Again, accumulating snow is possible tonight into tomorrow, and that may bring some wintry travel concerns. There's also an advisory out for Yellowstone National Park. That's ongoing. Higher elevations could see over six inches of snow. But our high-resolution forecast model shows the disorganization of the storm. So we get a bit of a west, then veering to the north. So off and on snow showers are expected to develop. So you may see some brief periods of moderate snow in the lower elevations, but it should be brief and we clear out by the time we get into early Thursday morning. So our snowfall forecast uh, model does show maybe an inch or two for most lower valleys, picking up a couple of inches around Anaconda. And then as you can see uh, down towards Big Sky, you can see around two to four inches and Cook City, and yeah, maybe around six to eight. So higher elevations, we'll see the brunt of it. Lower valleys, at times, we'll see some minor snow accumulations, and that may create some icy roads. Butte, your 24-hour forecast is partly cloudy to cloudy tonight, often on snow as possible, often on snow into tomorrow. And that's the same pattern for Bozeman teens tonight, 30s tomorrow. Best chance for snow will be in the morning, diminishing in the afternoon for your Wednesday. Updates on the rest of the work week forecast coming up at 5.30 and 10 on KXLF and KBZK.